Hey there, how's it going? My name is David, you're watching Kai City RC. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another RC Garage update uh, vlog. This is going to be the conclusion to my Tomahawk, uh, what I'm calling my Tomahawk Prospect build. So if you haven't seen the previous video, you might want to pause this one and go ahead and watch that first. Otherwise, a lot of what I'm about to say won't make sense. Okay, without further ado, I'm sure everybody's wanting to know how the build went. Well, Initially, I had thought since this was my fifth two-wheel drive Scorpion-based buggy build and all I was doing was adding a few Kyosho option parts, it would be a straightforward build and it would be over before I knew it. Famous last words, yes, I hit a snag. Uh, everything was going smoothly until I came to put the body on and I discovered that the taller HG shock stay at the rear prevented the body from sitting properly and I looked like I needed to cut some of the body at the back to make more clearance for the shock stay. But the, the problem was, I was just eyeballing it and I could see where it was catching on the shock stay at the side of the body. The problem was, it looked like even if I did that, the body still wouldn't drop down as far as it needed to go because the, it would start to rest on the top of the shock stay. Um, I don't think it would be a problem and at the time I was like, wow, I just painted up the body and I was a bit, little bit reluctant to start hacking away at it. And if I had more time and I was in a position where that if I did screw it up, I could get another body and paint it up before the event, then I would, would I probably would have gone ahead. But it caused me to kind of stop, pause and reevaluate what I was doing. So if you did watch my previous video, you'll know that part of the reason I decided to throw a whole load of carbon upgrades option parts at this tomahawk was to differentiate it from the tomahawk i already had and i thought to myself well it's one thing to go and get all these parts he shocks carbon plate etc etc and just throw them on just to make it different but in doing so i'm not sure this is the right direction i want to take with this build so let me explain the whole design premise of the original Tomahawk was to be a lightweight race version of a Scorpion. And so Kyosho, Kogawa-san, Kyosho engineers basically threw a lot of the parts away. They, they did everything they could to reduce the weight of the Tomahawk. And I thought to myself, well, wait a minute. By putting, for example, these HG shocks on, I'm adding weight. And then it occurred to me, a lot of the mods that I'd planned to do were going to bring my Tomahawk closer to a, a Turbo Scorpion in spec. And I thought, well, do I really want to do that? Because I've already got a Turbo Scorpion. And one of the things that I like about the Tomahawk is that it's so different to the others. And not just the other two-wheel drives in the series, but two-wheel drives in general. I think most people agree. If you said to somebody, describe a two-wheel drive RC buggy, and most people would kind of have the same image in their mind. It would have a low front, gradually get taller towards the rear and be capped off with a wing at the back. Well, the Tomahawk doesn't have a rear wing. I mean, it's not unique in that regard. The Grasshopper, the Holiday Buggy, you know, dozens of other buggies don't have rear wings, but I'd argue that a, a key design characteristic of most two wheel drive buggies or buggies in general in fact is to have a rear wing but the tomahawk doesn't instead it drops down at the rear and one of my favorite angles of the tomahawk is the side on view because the rear end is so low down and then you've got these oversized rear tires it, it just i don't know i really like the aesthetic hence i use it in the thumbnail and so i thought to myself well if I start to throw all of these parts on it, and particularly the HG shocks and the Turbo Scorpion wheels and tires, I'm just bringing it more towards a Turbo Scorpion. Part of this thought process came about because I was tempted to just basically cut the back of the body off. I've seen several people cut sections out of the back of the to Tomahawk body in order to fit, for example, the Turbo Scorpion wing stay and wing, and still put the body on and remove it easily. But I think I remember seeing somewhere, I think it was on Instagram, somebody had cut basically the whole back end of the body off that covers the, the gearbox. And if you do that, you can fit the Scorpion wing mount and the Scorpion rear wing, but I wasn't too sure if I'd like the finished result. So anyway, I decided, well, you know, the whole 
reason for them creating this tomahawk in the first place was to make it as lightweight as possible. Maybe my prospect tomahawk build should try to carry on and improve upon that. And so out came the scales and I started weighing things. And as you can imagine, the carbon replacement parts, for, for example, the gearbox um, plate and the rear suspension stay, uh, the electronic stick, they all weigh considerably less than their other counterparts. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get everything weighed. I was pushed for time and I'd already kind of built a large part of it and I didn't want to strip it all down. But uh, I did manage to do a few side-by-side -side comparisons and they're going to be on screen. I realized one of the biggest weight savings was to stick with the original wheels and tires. I was expecting the Tomo Turbo Scorpion wheels to, well certainly the rear tires to be lighter or you know similar weight to the stock ones because there's a lot less rubber but um, no in actual fact the Turbo Scorpion wheels and tires are significantly notably heavier than the Tomahawk wheels and tires. And likewise the HG shocks, they were nice but they added a lot of weight and I'm like, well, I don't want to keep weight down. This is the direction I want to go now. I want to keep weight down. And so I solved the body problem by just reverting back to the original shocks. Now I would have liked to have fitted Turbo Scorpion shocks. So the Turbo Scorpion uses slightly larger shocks than the stock ones you get in the Scorpion, the Tomahawk and the Beetle. And they're only, they're only, they're only subtly larger, um, but they also use um, the Turbo Scorpion actually uses slightly longer suspension stays at the front and back. Unfortunately, Kyosho, they do carbon versions of the Tomahawk, Scorpion and Beetle shock stays, the kit ones. And they do the carbon HG shock stays, but what they don't do are carbon versions of the Turbo Scorpion kit stock stays. And so I was toying with the idea of putting Turbo Scorpion shocks on because I have a set. Why do I have a set? I'll get onto that in a minute. Well, I, I have a set. I will have a set. Um, spoiler alert, I will have a set. But it would mean that I'd have to tear them down and start putting internal limiters in them in order to get them to work better with the shorter um, shock stays of the Tomahawk. So in the end, I ended up basically changing direction with the build. Uh, originally it was just differentiate this new Tomahawk to my old one by throwing lots of option parts on it. But it kind of morphed into this, okay, you know, the Tomahawk is supposed to be this lightweight version of the other two wheel drives. Let's see how light we can go. To that end, I was actually hunting around trying to find a few other option parts that might reduce weight. And at some point I may revisit this and replace screws with, you know, titanium versions and see how really how light I can actually get it. But uh, okay, enough waffle. I'm sure you're anxious to know if I was successful and just how much weight I saved. So without further ado, let's get on to it. Before I go any further though, all of the buggies that I'm about to mention are using the exact same electronics, the exact same servo, the exact same receiver, the exact same ESC and the exact same motor. The only slight difference is my Turbo Scorpion has the Kyosho lighting kit, which is actually quite lightweight. I don't have one to, to weigh, but I think it's less than like it's less than 10 grams and it does have four LEDs fitted to it, uh, whereas none of the others have an LED kit. Anyway, enough waffle, here we go. So the Turbo Scorpion, uh, as you'd expect, is the heaviest of the bunch. It tips the scales at 1,420 grams. And that's mostly due to the bigger wheels and tires, the longer wheelbase and slightly larger shocks. Next up, we have the Scorpion. My Scorpion has HG shocks and the carbon HG shock stays. Aside from that, it's completely stock. It tips the scales at 1,000. 311 grams, so about 100 grams or so lighter than the Turbo Scorpion. Next up is my completely stock Tomahawk. Kyosho did a lot of, well, made quite a bit of effort back in the day to reduce weight, and mine tips the scales at 1,185 grams. So again, quite a bit lighter than the Scorpion on which it's based. And finally, the Kai City RC. Prospect Tomahawk. What I'm going to do is I'll put the complete spec list on the screen now. Pause. Have a have a guess. Let me know down in the comments what you think the final weight is going to be. Are you ready? So here we go. After all of the carbon upgrades and weight reduction, the Kai City RC Prospect Tomahawk weighs in at. 
1,166 grams. So after all that effort, I managed to save a mere 19 grams. Yes, you heard that correctly. 19 grams over the completely stock spec Tomahawk. I'm a little disappointed. I expected it to be more, um, to be fair, but uh, I suppose, you know, it's already a light buggy, a few grams here and there. It's all beneficial. Will I notice it running it? I don't think so. There have been a few other benefits to not installing the shocks, uh, shock stays and turbo scoping wheels on the Tomahawk. I now have a spare set that I can put on my turbo scoping at some point. Although I did just, just out of curiosity, um, swap over the wheels and tires onto the Tomahawk. It's very simple. You need this the hex adapter. I'll, I'll put on screen now the actual part number you need. I like the look. Um, if I didn't have a Turbo Scorpion, I think I'd probably stick with the bigger wheels and tires. It, it does look nice, but I don't know. I guess I just feel that in fitting those wheels and tires and the bigger shocks, I just the Tomahawk loses some of its uniqueness compared to the other two wheel drive buggies in the Legendary series. So all the unused parts will be finding their way onto my Turbo Scorpion at some point. I've been wanting it for a long time now, for at least, well, a couple of years now to do an upgrade on the Turbo Scorpion. So uh, once I've gathered all the necessary parts together, I will do that. But that's going to be probably sometime in the winter. I've got a few projects to be getting on with in the interim. Well, that's all for this video. Um, a bit of an anticlimax, I know, uh, and a bit of change of di direction, I know. But that's the way things, these things go. When you start out modifying a buggy, well, for me personally, at least, I rarely know the direction it's going to take or the end result. And it's always just fun to play around with different modifications. Well, that's it. I'll catch you in the next one. My name is David. You've been watching Kai City RC. Look out for my vintage meat report. Hopefully the weather's going to hold out. It's looking a bit iffy for this weekend, uh, but hopefully it will be, it will be dry and we can run. Mm -hmm.